Okay, hello. So I would like to present a paper of um, these gentlemen here, and unfortunately they were not able to come. So I have the very lucky uh, task to present that on behalf of them. Let's quickly dive into that. So what it is about, it is about crowd abnormality behavior. And that means when you, for instance, have like a train station and you would like to know, okay, when does something abnormal happen or when does nothing happen so that you don't have to watch the whole stream. So what are the primary, challenge, primary challenges? So uh, um, firstly, the most challenging problem is, is that there is no clear definition. It is very subjective and like there are only data sets that have a few annotations and we are not able to train on that in a sufficient way. Okay, what is the general idea? So we assume that consecutive frames, they share a different behavior or sorry, a similar behavior and by using a CNN, so we feed these frames individually into this CNN and then we say, okay, the CNN features, they only change a little bit. And further on, we encode them using a binary scheme to make it easier in the end. Then we quantify the change by saying, okay, we take a look at the histograms and then we sort of keep track of the changes and then we can say, okay, whether well, the change is above some threshold and if it is, then it's abnormal behavior and otherwise it's not. Okay, so we have a binary quantization layer and what, the, what this is doing, so we have, for instance, let's say we have a dimensionality of 10, then we have 10 hyperplanes and then we always look at which side a point is. So when it's on one side, you assign it a zero, and otherwise you would assign a one to it. And this is already a procedure that has been suggested by some other people, and we basically rebuild this procedure using neural networks. What does that bring us? So this way we hope to sort of filter out the noise and make the whole process a lot more robust. Okay, so uh, the most interesting part, I think, is how do we uh, keep track of whether we have abnormal behavior. And for this, the authors have suggested this temporal CNN pattern measure called TCP. And um, what it does is um, you have these binary encodings. So you have to, uh, if you would like, you have a frame, then you uh, sort of divided into rectangles and then you assign a binary code to each of these rectangles and then over the frames, so over the time, you look whether the histogram is like regular or not regular. So it's very similar to having an entropy based approach. And because we only have a few training samples, we use the binary quantization in an offline manner, so it's trained before, and later on we fix the weights so that we don't run into problems later. Okay, so uh, what are the results? So uh, we are at least um, competitive, but we uh, are not better, so that is something that we have to say. But you can see also later in the poster that we are performing quite well. Okay. That's a picture or a video. So you have a lane of some people and then you would like to highlight what is abnormal there. And you see the yellow and the red patches, they are considered as being abnormal. And prior to that, we had to specify like a threshold which could be tuned before to uh, get that coloring. Okay, so what are the contributions? So we use CNNs to abstract the features, then we have this binary quantization layer, and later on we have a very intelligent scheme that keeps track of the challenges. Thank you very much. <laughs>